Yes, when Newton published the Principia in 1687, uh, the book was basically about um, the universe, but particularly the motion of planets. And so a lot of the book is to do with problems of motion. And you might think that the Newtonian calculus was tailor-made for exactly this kind of problem, and that Newton would therefore have used his fluxional calculus in trying to, to write the Principia, but he didn't. It doesn't come in except in very limited ways. Um, he went back to a much more classical geometric approach in writing the Principia. And it's a very interesting question why he did this. He may have done it because he thought his readers would understand that way of doing things. He may have done it because he thought the classical approach gave his work more authority. He may have done it because he simply didn't want to go into the trouble of describing in detail his calculus to a new audience because, after all, it had never been published at this stage. But there are really no overt traces of his calculus in the Principia. When you dig more deeply, you can see that he's using methods in the Principia that would have been inspired by his early work on the calculus. For instance, he deals with what we would now call a limiting process, which is something he had been doing in the calculus. That comes into the Principia. When he's setting up the mathematical framework for the Principia, uh, it's basically classical geometry, but with these sort of limiting processes built in as well. And that's not classical. That comes from his calculus.